All over the world, security of life and property is considered one of the primary duties of every government. But insecurity in Nigeria has been on a roll, and our security measures so far seem to be yielding very little fruit. Nigeria is third in Sub-Saharan Africa and sixth globally on the Global Terrorism Index. Violence is on the rise all over the country, and the kidnapping industry is booming. In 2021 alone, over 2,000 kidnappings were reported. Fast forward to 2023, and there was well over 4,000 reported cases of kidnapping. All of this resulting in a heartbreaking loss of lives, that of civilians, vigilantes, soldiers, police officers, civil defense corps, security guards, and more. Between 2016 and now, Nigerians have coughed up billions of naira in ransom payments. And in Abuja, the nation's capital, where the seat of power is located, there is no sparing. In the Northeast, over 100 well-armed bandit groups are running the show and nobody's keeping them in check. Last Christmas Eve, three local governments in Plateau State were attacked and there are media reports that nearly 200 people were killed, several others injured, and about 30,000 people displaced in what some locals have described as an ethnic cleansing exercise. Just give serious thoughts to those figures. Families thrown into mourning when they should be celebrating. As if that wasn't enough, January 2024 opened with a fresh batch of violence in Plateau State again. 30 lives were taken in the attack, hundreds injured, and about 1,500 people displaced. Clearly not the kind of New Year celebration they were hoping for. And these are just a few examples. A lot more has gone on and is still going on. Despite the government's claims of having measures in place, Nigerians are not throwing a party yet. There is heavy anxiety in the air over how much worse it could get with the way things are going. And people feel helpless and hopeless because justice just does not exist. We need the government to roll up its sleeves and come up with a solid plan that's more than just a jab in the dark. Nigerians are growing more impatient for a solution and there doesn't seem to be any insight. Except maybe we just can't see. <laughs>